Rise and shine with the Word of God. Wake up Saturday mornings with a purpose. Tune in at 10 a.m. and join Antonia Roman as she sings and reads the Word of God. The Word of God will give you insight for the purpose in your life. Now here is your host, Antonia Roman. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my trouble. And let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my trouble. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my trouble. Good morning, everyone. Rise and shine this Saturday morning as we get ready to dive into the word. I am your host, Antonia Roman, and I am so glad that you're joining me this morning. I hope that you have woken up and given your Heavenly Father a high five and a high praise to him for waking you up with another day and another time of purpose in your life. Today, we're going to dive right into Psalm 102. And in Psalm 102, we are basically, uh, God is talking about, and uh, it was an author who wrote this, who was anonymous, and we still don't know who it, uh, it is, but this is so true to applying it to our lives even today. It's a cure for distress because God is living in eternal and unchanging. We can trust him to help his people in this generation just as he helped his people in the past generations. So in Psalm 102, it says, Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my trouble. Incline your ear to me. In the day that I call, answer me speedily. For my days are consumed like smoke, and my bones are burned like a hearth. My heart is stricken and withered like grass, so that I forget to eat my bread. Because of the sound of my groaning, my bones cling to my skin. I am like a pelican of the wilderness. I am like an owl of the desert. I lie awake. I am like a sparrow alone on the housetop. My enemies reproach me all day long. Those to, who deride me swear an oath against me. For I have eaten ashes like bread and mingled my drink like with weeping. Because of your indignation and your wrath, for you have lifted me up and cast me away. My days are like a shadow that lengthens, and I wither away like grass. But you, O Lord, shall endure forever, and the remembrance of your name to all generations. You will arise and have mercy on Zion, for the time to favor her. Yes, the set time has come. For your servants take pleasure in her stones and show favor to her dust. So the nation shall fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth, your glory for the Lord shall build up Zion. He shall appear in his glory. He shall regard the prayer of the destitute and shall not despise their prayer. This will be written for the generation to come that a people yet to be created may praise the Lord He who looked down from the height of his sanctuary, from heaven the Lord viewed the earth, to hear the groaning of the prisoner, to release those appointed to death, 
to declare the name of the Lord in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem, when the peoples are gathered together and the kingdoms to serve the Lord. He weakened my strength in the way. He shortened my days. I said, Oh my God, do not take me away in the midst of my days. Your years are throughout all generations. Of old you lay the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you shall endure. Yes, they will all grow old like a garment. Like a cloak you will change them, and they will be changed. But you are the same, and your years will have no end. The children of your servants will continue and their descendants will be established before you. Father, we thank you for the word in Psalm 102. And we know and we can understand that during this time, people from the past, the children in the past, were going through a distressed time. And they felt like they were withering away. They felt like they were practically uh, not even on earth anymore. They felt like they just didn't exist anymore. Like if they've been cast out, set to the side, Lord, they say it so clearly here that they continue to feel like their heart was stricken and withered like grass. And Lord, there are many people here today as well that are feeling like their hearts are stricken. They've been hurt in their hearts and they feel like they're withering away like grass. They feel like they're caught up in a situation that they just cannot come out of. They feel like they might be suffering a situation in their lives right now that they have no control over. But Lord, you make it so clear to us that the same way there was a struggle back then and that there's still the struggle today, that you are a mighty God who is ever present. And even though we might be feeling this way, all we have to do, Heavenly Father, is press in to you. Press into your word. Press in with prayer. Press in with believing, Lord, that no matter what the situation is right now in our lives, no matter what our flesh is feeling at this time. You're a good daddy. And you can help us through this process. And you can restore our hearts. You can restore our minds. You can restore our mental state. You can restore our physical state. Father, we just thank you for what you are doing in our lives. We may seem weary at the time, we might seem powerless, we might seem weak, we might be crying, there might be tears flowing from our eyes, but Father, we know that we can count on you during this time in our lives to help us through the situation, because you are a true living God that we can turn to. And you know all of our circumstances. You know all of our situations. You know every thought process of ours. You see exactly how we're feeling, how we look, how we sound, how we're walking and talking. But you want to remind us today that irregardless to all those feelings, we just stand strong in knowing who you are in our lives that we're supposed to remember that we have an identity in you. And no matter what might be happening in the flesh to us right now, no matter what the enemy might be trying to put into our minds, no matter what the enemy is trying to convince us of, no matter how bad we feel that we are pressed against the wall, mm -hmm. Father, you are with us to help mm -hmm. us. And no matter what, Heavenly Father, you are also helping us in our time of need. So, Father, we press forward knowing that we have an identity in Christ. 
And no, no matter what we might be dealing with in the flesh, we know that we are to press in with you in the spirit. Because we need to be in the spirit with you, Heavenly Father. So that could be a renewness, a refreshing, an outpouring, and an anointing in the spirit on us. So that we know exactly how to deal with things in the flesh. Because we don't walk um, by the things that we cannot see. We walk, we walk by faith. And even though we might see things in the natural right now that are not good to us or we don't understand why it's happening, we're to see things in the spirit. Because it says in your word very clearly that we don't walk um, by sight, but we walk by faith. And Father, I just thank you for your word today. I thank you for allowing us to be able to press forward with everything that we're doing today, no matter how we woke up this morning, no matter how tired we feel, no matter how weary we feel, no matter how broken our hearts are, Lord, we know that this is a temporary season. We know that you're going to do something new. We know that you're going to tear down the strongholds. We know that you're going to give us a refreshing of our mind, our spirit, and our soul mentally and physically, and that, Lord, we can count on you to do that. We need to stay focused, my friends. We need to stay pressing forward with our Heavenly Father. We need to have faith in our Heavenly Father that he can bring us through this season. Hey, like I said, sometimes the seasons are good and sometimes the seasons are bad. Either way, we have to praise our Heavenly Father and press forward and know that He's a good, good Daddy. If He's done it for you in the past, He will do it for you again. If you were depressed before and God took you out of that depression and you're finding yourself going back into that depression, pray to your Heavenly Father so He will take you right out of that depression. And give you a peace and a joy and a comfort that surpasses all understanding. If you found yourself that you were lacking in a job. That you were not happy with that job anymore. That you were just humdrum about it. You just showed up every day. And you're sad in your job. You're not happy. It's not fulfilling. You feel you're not challenged. You feel like you're just wasting time. But then God did something quick and maybe gave you a new job or a new perspective on the job. Or maybe you got a promotion to do something different in the job. Maybe you now sparked in your job. Maybe now your boss said, hey, we're going to give you a raise in your job. Whatever it is that you might be feeling that has you dragging This morning has you currently dragging your life. Know that you're not dragging forever. Know that God is picking you up and he's dusting you off. And he's saying no more dragging of the feet. Walk up high in confidence and knowing who I am and what I can do for your life. Walk proudly knowing that you serve a heavenly father that can give you the strength the energy, and everything that you need to continue to press through in this life. We all go through hurts, my friends. We all go through moments where we just feel like we don't even want to live. And these thoughts may come into your mind. But we cast out those thoughts with the word of our Heavenly Father. For God has not given us a spirit of fear but a power and love and a sound mind. And you must remember that because no weapon formed against you will prosper. If the enemy has come in today into your life and the enemy has you downtrodden, feeling like you can't function, 
We need to rebuke that in the name of Jesus, my friends. Rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Send it right back to the pit of hell where it belongs. And look at that enemy in the face and say, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke you. You have no authority in, over the, my mind. You have no authority in my temple. You have no authority in my heart, my spirit, my soul, my physical state, my mental state. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. And we hold on to the promises that our Heavenly Father gives us in His Word. There are so many promises, my friends, in the Bible that God gives us. He gives us so many um, promises. And we need to remember that. That no matter what our flesh might be feeling, we have to press forward and operate in the Spirit. Feelings are temporary. They come and go the way we feel. We could feel happy one day. We could feel sad. But the joy of the Lord is eternal in our spirits. And hold on to that joy. Because joy does come in the morning. Even if you had a bad night. Even if you had a struggle last night. Even if you have a struggle waking up this morning, remember you can press through with God's word because God's word is helping us, is giving us power, is giving us a new mindset, is giving us promises that the Heavenly Father has written out and laid out for us. It is helping spark our spiritual walk. So no matter what you might be feeling, you might feel distressed, my friends. Just like the scripture says, hear my prayer, O Lord. The Lord hears your prayers. Pray to the Lord. Pray to the Lord. Pray to the Lord. Do not cease praying. Pray to the Lord. Let your cry out come out to him, just like it says in the scripture. And let my cry come to you. Cry out to the Lord. Give all of your cares over to him. Give all of your worries over to him. Give every situation over to him. Be, and you are crying out and saying, Lord, do not hide your face from me in the day of my trouble. If you have troubles today, my friend, I can tell you that you can just give them over to the Lord. He will help you in that situation. He will help you overcome any situation he will give you the refreshing and the newness that you need to continue to go forward my friends i tell you today press through press through press through with your heavenly father who loves you so much because in jeremiah 29 11 says for i know the plans i have for you says the lord promises, plans to give you life, right? We need to remember that. He didn't say that we wouldn't have troubles, but he does have a plan for you to give you a hope and a future. That's Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. Read it. Read it. Write it out. Put it up on your wall. I personally, whenever I'm going through something, I write scriptures out. If you come to my house, there's scriptures all over my house written out. Why? Because anytime I feel weary or anytime I feel like the enemy's trying to attack me, I look at those scriptures and I read them out loud in my home. I had a friend who just came to my house the other day, and when she used to went to use the restroom, she said to me, oh my gosh. I'm in your restroom, I'm washing my hands, and I'm reading scriptures that you have right there. And I'm like, yeah, because I want people to know that God's word can be evident in every situation, even when we're using the bathroom, when we're washing our hands, right? We're taking the dirt off, but as we're washing our hands, let's read a scripture. Let God renew us, let him cleanse us, right? Guys, it has just been an awesome day with you this morning. Continue to enjoy your Saturday. Know that your Heavenly Father is a good, good daddy. He knows everything you're struggling with. 
but he wants you to cry out to him. He wants you to pray to him. He wants you to seek his face. And in doing so, and believing and receiving, you will have a great outcome in your spirit. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. And remember, you serve a good, good daddy, and he loves you. God bless you. Antonia Roman is the author of Confessions of a Christian Woman, A Journey in Marriage, A New Beginning. In this book, Antonia shares her personal journey in marriage and how she used God's word to help her overcome verbal abuse. Tune in next Saturday as Antonia Roman continues to dive into the word of God. The word of God gives you insight for the purpose in your life.